Hi. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going through how to create a navigation bar with drop down items. Uh, for example, a website might have a navigation bar where you have a home link, uh, about us, contact us, uh, more information, for example. And you might want that more information to have extra links. Um, so what you want to create is a drop down menu that will when when the user hovers over this it is going to reveal more options and more links that they can go to so to start we're going to create a folder which I have already done and inside this folder all you're going to need is three files uh, an arrow.png this is going to specify which of our links on the navigation bar are going to be able to be hovered over and uh, reveal more items and we're going to need a .html file and a CSS file. Um, to create these files you can use any text editor. I am using um, Komodo Edit 8 because I am currently using my Linux on my laptop. So let's go straight into this. Uh, you are going to need a basic knowledge of HTML and CSS for this tutorial. Uh, however, I am putting up uh, new videos soon that are going to go through basic HTML, basic CSS. So be sure to check those out when they come out. Um, so we're going to start by uh, actually going into these styles and just starting off some code on our body tag. Uh, and in this I'm just going to put the padding as 0, margin 0, and I always like to do overflow Y scroll. Uh, and I'll explain that in another video in the future. Uh, so let's let's edit what the page is going to look like. So let's make the font family as uh, Arial for this, and font size as uh, we're going to have 18 p px, nice and big, so we can see it, uh, but not too big. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is actually create some div IDs. Uh, so we're going to create a div ID and we're going to call this one nav. Oh, this is going to be our main oops sorry. It's going to be our main uh this is going to co contain the uh list uh and all the links we need. Um also the design I'm going to for going for is going to require us to have a div ID nav wrapper. Now basically this is going to the nav is going to be a uh, the style I'm going for. I'm going to go for a dark theme, so I'm going to have a black bar going across the whole website, and this nav wrapper is going to fit the the content of the nav in the middle of the website. So once once we've done that, we'll start creating the list. So UI UL sorry to create our list, and let's add some list items, uh, which is LI. Uh, let's add some links to them and we're going to have home. We're going to have typical uh, website uh, links so let's have that many. So we'll have for example about us, uh, contact us and we'll have social as well because we can add some so when so we're going to have these as normal links the home about us and contact us as normal links and the social is going to be a drop down menu that will reveal links to youtube twitter and facebook uh so now let's start styling this so we're going to go into our uh, back into our uh, style sheet and we're going to hashtag and we're going to type nav and in this nav uh we're going to put background color 222 and 222 is a dark grey colour as you can see uh, and that's all we need to put for that and the nav wrapper this is going to centre our nav content so we're going to have a width of 960 px that's safe for most monitors um, a margin of 0 auto and a text align left ok so that's going to center the content that is in this nav. So let, let's uh, let's have a look. Let's preview this. Let's go back to here and just open. I'm going to be using Google Chrome. You can use whatever browser you like. This will work in Opera, Google Chrome, uh, Firefox, and there's one more. 
what is it? Google Chrome, Firefox, Opera. What's the other one I use? I've, I've forgotten. But it does work in all the main browsers. Oh! I've missed a vital bit of code, which is the link to the style sheet. So we need to put link, href. And we're going to do it. I've called mine styles.css. And once again, if you if you don't know any of this basic uh, CSS, then you can go ahead and learn it yourself, or you can wait until my videos come out explaining all this kind of stuff. So let's let's try this again. There we go. So as you can see, it's not very pretty at the moment at all. So let's just close that. Uh, okay. Right. So now, hold on a second. Let me just do something. Okay, that's working fine. It might be better showing you like this if I pull the browser out as far as possible. So you can see, see that this bit here does go all the way to the web web end and this is in the middle. So let's change those, l uh, no actually we're gonna, we'll get to that. So now what we want to do is start editing, uh, no styling the list items. So we're gonna put nav ul as our thing, as our starting point. Um, we're gonna put list style type as none, padding of zero and a margin of zero. Uh, and that is, oh and we're also gonna put, oh sorry, oh dear a position relative and this is going to be helpful for the future so let's go back to this and you can see this is we've now lost the styling uh, the bullet points and it's now at the top of the website uh, the web page so now let's do nav ul li and this is going to be display inline block uh, and that's all we need for the nav ul. Uh, we're going to have a nav ul li hover. Uh, now, unfortunately, the, the method I use, uh, you cannot have the links so that when you hover over them, uh, they change color for the drop down menus. Because if if we were to do that, uh, the oh, let's just refresh it actually, because now we can show what the display inline inline block inline block did. Sorry about that. Uh, basically, if we were to create a link that change color and hover on the drop down menu you would hover over it move down your menu and this this link here would change color back to the original one it's, it wouldn't be hovered anymore so but that does that's not the same for the background so let's get back to our code and in here we're going to put a background color of 333 which is a slightly lighter gray than the 222 that'll do for now. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean about the change in color of link. So let's put UL LIA and I'm just going to put a comma visited, that's what I normally do. And we're also just going to go ahead and put the A hover as well. Um, so here we're going to put, uh, we're going to have a color of CCC which is a light light gray. Uh, we're going to have a, we're going to put the nav uh, the uh, ULLI link as display block and basically what this does is make the link cover the whole area of the LI so now instead of putting the padding that we're going to have on the LI we're going to have it on the I'm going to put it as 15px for this we don't have many links going across the page so basically this is going to create something like this so as you can see we now have this type of thing here it's going well. Now I don't like having the underline, so let's change that to text decoration as none. And as you can see, this happens. So, and let's this. You don't actually have to do anything, but just to make sure, I normally just put. Oh dear, oh dear, it's going all wrong. <laughs> Uh, I normally put just color, the same color, and text decoration none, just to make sure that it doesn't actually do it. 
Okay, so now it's just like that. Right, so let's add, let's change this around a little bit. Basically, if we go across here, if we scroll along, you can see that my cursor changes to the default instead of the pointer. Uh, this is because we need to change some of the HTML. We need to get rid of these beginning li tags and move them. So they're here. So you have beginning, oh dear, the beginning li tags here. I'm just going to copy them so it doesn't automatically. So you want to do that. So it's like, so you have li, then your link, then end li, then li, enter, then you have your link, then end li, start li, and, and it goes on like that. I, but don't do it for the last one, obviously. So let's see what that looks like now. We've saved it. And as you can see now, that that change has stopped. Okay. So now let's add our drop down menu. Our drop down do, sorry. Our drop down menu is going to go after this link. So in between the link anywhere here. So in between in between the link end of the link and the end of the li. So we're going to press enter. Enter again. And we're going to do start another list li. I'm going to put what we said before, which was YouTube. Oh, let's just copy these, make it a little bit easier. Uh, we're going to have, let's have Twitter and Facebook. Let's uh, check that out. So now, as you can see, it's, 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 you can note, you can notice that it's in the structure of a drop down menu. As you can see here, you've got the social and then drop down and you've got all these links but you know we still don't have this when you hover over when when you know at the beginning it's not there you can't see it and then when you hover over it reveals now we're going to create that right now so let's go into our style sheet again and in here we're going to start a new one we're going to nav ul li hover ul and we're going to put display block now what this is going to do is when you here we're telling it that when we hover over the the first ul li so this is ul li when we hover over one of these we want something to happen to the next ul the ul 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 and this is going to come handy in the future when we put nav ul ul we're going to put display of none and then this is where that position comes in. We're going to put a position absolute. So now this happens. As you can see, we now have a state where we can not see it, and then we see it when we hover over. So that's what that does. Basically, we have the ul ul as display none so it doesn't display first of all and then we have this bit of code which tells it that when we were when we hover the, over the ul li we want the ul ul to do something which is display so now let's go on to the styling of the ul ul li and we're going to put a display of block because we don't want it to be inline block anymore because we don't want this this kind of thing i mean you might want this for your website but I prefer having them like this. So as you can see, you know, it, it's currently ha it currently has no background. So let's put a background on it. Uh, let's go to here, and we're going to type in background the ul ul. We're going to go type background color, and I'm going to have mine the same as the hover state of the ul li, because then it looks like this. So you get something like this. So we, we, we you know, our, our uh, drop down menu is, we've basically created a drop down menu, uh, but I'm going to go through a few things to, just to improve it. One of the first things that we're going to do is to improve this is we're going to go nav ul ul li a. Okay. And um, we're going to, obviously, um, it doesn't really need to be changed. We're just going to have it the same as the top. We can get rid of that. And the nav ul ul li a hover, 
I'm going to make this a colour of 099. This is like a, a, light, a lightish blue, and this looks great against dark backgrounds. So you get like the dark grey background. So now you get this. It's like that. Uh, another styling tip that I like to do is actually go to the UL. I'm going to add a border of f about 5px solid, and I'm going to make it the same colour as the uh, you know the original uh, navigation bar, which is 222. I'm going to refresh this, and now we're going to get something like this. As you can see, it's slightly ruined now. You get this, and but this can be changed. It's going to look good. Um, what we're going to do is going to do border top as zero. This is going to get rid of that border that we have at the top. But now, as you can see, this border here is cutting off. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't look very nice. So th the thing we do here is very easy. We just type in margin dash left minus whatever your border pi uh, width is. So minus five px. I'm going to minus by five px. And now you get this. So now you have this drop down menu that has like a a border around it which is the same color as the original navigation so now it's got like a container so another thing I like to do is also just put a min width this is something you don't have to do of maybe I'm just gonna randomly put 200 pics so you get this so that because sometimes you might have quite long links and uh, when this goes bigger than the actual drop down menu it looks a bit silly like for example if I was to change this social to um, this is a very long link and it shouldn't be like this I've spelled shouldn't wrong it's gonna look like that and it looks a bit silly when it this is giant and this is small so Keep in mind that you probably want your drop down menu to be longer than the initial link your drop down drop down is coming from. So like that. Uh, now I'm actually going to use the same place here and do an image. I'm going to add an image, and my image is arrow.png. Um, and as you can see, this happens now doesn't look very good does it? it's not centered it's a bit too close to the social well, we're going to edit that now we're going to go into back up to our nav ul li and we're going to put it here let's put it here so nav ul li and an image and here we're going to put vertical align as middle and then we're also going to add a padding left oh, let's just go with 10px so it you know it goes away from that social so as, as you can see it's just moved. So let's let's actually duplicate this window and let's let's compare it. So if we take away this bit of code, save it, go on to this. So as you can see, it's gone from this to this with that little bit, those two lines of code. So now it looks like this. You probably don't need as much padding on the left, maybe. Maybe we can change that to five. Let, let's try it whilst we put those that code back in. So maybe five. Yeah, that's better. Did I refresh it? Yeah, that's much better. So now you get this. Uh, so, you know, this is a, a lot of people you know, find it hard to um, create this drop down menu, but uh, when I first was learning it, I, I, I used to look at the code on example website and think, oh, what, <laughs> there's no way I'm going to learn that. But it's in stages it's actually very simple when you look at it though it's just it's just a lot of code and I'm sure it's intimidating to beginner um, web developers um, so I really hope this uh, tutorial has helped you uh, you know comment down below with your feedback you know, what have I done right what have I done wrong what can I improve on I appreciate that very much and uh, a like is also very appreciated and uh, if you would like to see more videos please subscribe to my channel uh, again I would really appreciate that um, thanks for watching I hope this helped and I will see you in the next video